That one, we got some really sad news actually. So, um, just wanted to touch upon this because I saw this on my feed regarding a Nashville school shooting. And this time it's a woman. You don't really hear that often, do you? When it's a woman that actually does it. But this is quite a crazy one. It said Nashville school shooting, woman who killed six was a former student. Absolutely insane. So it says here, a woman shot dead three children and three adults at a private Christian school in Nashville, Tennessee. The 28 year old who was a former student there was killed by police officers after confrontation with officers following the attack at the Covenant School. The woman who was named Audrey Hale and lived in Nashville, sources told NBC. Um, police said that Hale was armed with two assault type rifles and a pistol. Damn, she was really going for it, innit? They earlier said that she appeared to be aged in her teens. Jesus Christos, look at that face whoa the terror man um officers started receiving reports of an attack at 10 30 a.m and as police began clearing the ground floor of the school they heard gunfire coming in from the second floor two officers from the five member team opened fire in response and fatally shot the suspect at 10 7 10 27 so it happened quite quickly in it between 10 13 and 20 10 27 so they responded pretty fast not gonna lie man that's a pretty decent response rate all things considered isn't it Jesus, but still managed to kill six people. They said to say they don't know how the woman got into a school which teaches um, students up to sixth grade. The three children who are all students were pronounced dead um, as they arrived at hospital. Fuck me, man. The female t t attacker died after being engaged by officers, police said in a Twitter post. Um, Biden condemned sick attack. US President Joe Biden called on Monday the attack is sick as heartbreaking. He said the US needs to do more to protect schools and he called on the Senate to pass an assault rifle ban. Yeah, this, I'm not going to lie, as much as there is probably a need for that conversation, maybe whilst the kids' bodies aren't even cold yet, maybe this is not the time to politicize it, but I guess in these days worldwide, whether you're in America or in Europe, every every issue in society does get politicized and used as a weapon to kind of beat the other side with but i think that's pretty poor taste to be fair either side when they do that um using kids as a kind of as a political kind of pawn is horrendous um no one else was shot in the in the assault um so far this year there have been 89 school shootings 89 in 2023 already defined as when a gun is fired on a school property 89 instances fucking hell yo it's going up in America. In 2022, there were 303 um, such instances and the highest of any year in the K-12 school shooting database, which goes back to 1970. Um, other people's walk to safety and holding hands um, as they left the school surrounded by police cars to nearby church where they were reunited with their parents. The thing that I don't understand about all this stuff that's really kind of annoyed me in general about these school, about these school shooting stuff, especially when it involves like innocent children, is the fact that it's innocent children. Because... There's a part of me that's kind of oddly enough can understand the trauma that, you know, schools can can kind of inflict on people. Like from bullying to not feeling like you belong, um, to just awkwardness in general. Those kind of years when you're in school can be quite defining. For some people it could be just a nothing. It could be something that just happened and you kind of get over it as soon as you get to college or you start working, you just kind of forget about it. It's not that big of a deal. But for a lot of people out there, what they kind of went through in school can be really, really traumatic and can leave some deep, deep, deep lying scars that they kind of never get over. But I don't understand why whenever this happens, they always kind of inflict the damage on people who are completely innocent, who did nothing to them. So if you're going like, to, again, this is a really dark thing to say, but surely if you're going to go and inflict some sort of like, if, you, if it's like a revenge thing where you're going to try and go back at the teacher that kind of, you know, hurt you or said you would never make it or didn't really, you know, understand your trauma or expect you, I don't know, whatever the reason may be, surely going and attacking that person individually is far better than going and hurting and maiming all these innocent children that do absolutely nothing to you. It doesn't make any sense personally i really never understood that idea unless it obviously is something to kind of become you know famous to sort of become infamous um you know whatever it may be and the need for fame these days is really really kind of bizarre and weird people do it in such bizarre and weird ways but surely if you felt bullied or you felt like you were attacked or you felt like you were discredited or not looked down upon that you should go in and you know attack and maybe get vengeance on the person that actually did it to you as opposed to taking it out on innocent children and inflicting this sort of damage on families that they probably never get over you know i mean you send your kid off to school to go and learn to be safe to grow up and stuff and then they go in there and essentially they're you know um they're at 
they're at as much risk as if they were flipping in the middle of Afghanistan or something. It's absolutely horrendous, man. Absolutely crude. So RIP to all the victims. Um, again, what more can be said about this? Really, really is super, super sad. But it is good to see that the police did arrive in a pretty good time, to be fair. Considering the other cases I've seen for the shooting, for the reports of the shooting, sorry, it could have been earlier, but the reports of the shooting they say here was what? 10, 13 a.m. And the police already had fatally shot fatally shot and kind of you know um executed the person or killed the you know the assailant at 10 27 which is pretty good in terms of a response and then of course we've got here courtesy of royal alerts on um twitter saying nbc news reporting the identity of the 28 year old as audrey Hale, a biological female that identifies as he him on linkedin again i don't know why this is important to be fair but again politicize everything authorities believe transgender shooter previously attended the christian um school with reports that all the social media have been taken down yeah but you know again this is all just whatever in it the real issue is um gun control that's not going to change anytime soon because it's going to politicize but then the real issue again like i said is just like why is it these people kind of inflict this damage on people that did nothing to them. it's really really sad man um but yeah r.i.p to all the victims r.i.p to all the victims really um that's probably the main people that kind of are suffering for it look at this picture god almighty um r.i.p to everybody that suffered in there and big up the police officers who were able to take out the assailant so quickly when this happened so big up them and then yeah what more can you say about that really nothing else i can add that can kind of be sensible um but yeah children as well flipping out but um 